there's a whole gamut of uh, digital uh, initiatives that uh, the bank is has been working on and will continue to do so and why is that because i think ultimately uh, what we are seeing is that our customers are becoming more digital their expectation is that they want everything instantly and so therefore it becomes absolutely imperative for us to be able to provide digital solutions that that cater to the needs of our customers and so therefore we are, we are working on digital solutions on the uh, on the retail side uh, we are working on uh, re, uh, digital solutions for uh, for the government as uh, as i was mentioning across the country uh, a great example of that uh, is the automated fare collection that we have done for kochi metro uh, the raipur smart city where we have been able to provide a payments and collection solution for uh, for the city of raipur and something that we are looking to replicate in other parts of the country and be able to pro also provide uh corporate solutions for example instant um, lcbg uh, issuances uh, for corporates uh, is something that uh, that we are working on we are also working on uh, the use of uh, ai and um, and machine learning uh, to be able to automate our back end processes uh, you know where, where the beauty of ai ml is that uh, because the machine is learning on, on its own uh, we are also able to uh, improve the tats or, or the turnaround time to our customers Uh, because the machine effectively you know unlike you and me who can work 8 to 10 hours a day the machine can learn uh, can work 24 hours a day and so therefore my ability to uh, to improve uh, turnaround times and therefore uh, the customer experience uh, is tremendous thanks to the use of technology i think blockchain is uh, is a is an interesting technology uh, we've seen some use cases uh, but we've not really seen the mass utilization of of blockchain at this point in time uh i think the the one place where we've seen use of blockchain has been in um in cyber currency uh you know bitcoins etc but you know we've not seen a large scale utilization of blockchain uh it is still you know sort of evolving the technology is available uh but uh, i think entities across various industries are looking for opportunities to be able to use this technology let's see how it, how that goes cyber security is is something that uh, we at a board level um, are worried about i i don't think you can ever be in a situation where you can say you know my cyber security is is so secure that uh, you know nothing can ever happen to us it's a it's a constant battle uh, between institutions uh, and hackers and and therefore we spend a lot of time energy to ensure that um, uh, that we have the best uh, technology for us to help Uh, as manage cyber security because ultimately uh, you know cyber security has to be fought through technology and not uh, in a sense through you know physical means and the second is i think uh, uh, the earlier model of saying that i will uh, i will prevent or eliminate uh, a uh, a attack uh, was was the philosophy i think we moved away from that philosophy the point is that you will see multiple attacks uh on all organizations the question is how you will be able to detect and respond and so therefore we also have moved away from the prevention to to detect and a detect and response model and so therefore we we spend a lot of time energy on the uh, detect and respond model uh, i think it's a great forum um, it, this is uh as as you think about india and the prime minister's vision uh, of a digital india of a cashless india uh i think platforms like this will go a long way uh to be able to uh, get the various stakeholders to understand the capability of technology understand what uh, what is available there and to be able to think about uh, you know solutions you know for itself uh, and for the wider citizens